last time I was kind of like on the outskirt of the wide angle and it kind of like really like so you want to just make sure that you're okay, like there we go. good okay there we go <laughs> <laughs> welcome to another week in my life vlog I'm starting this on Sunday which I've never done before in but my it's life. because we're up and at him on a Sunday morning because we didn't go out last night are you actually doing dry January? Yeah. I didn't think you were late. I don't know why I didn't realize that. I didn't like announce it at first because I didn't think that I'd fall through. Yeah. And I technically had half a high noon that- When you guys lost? Yeah. When TC lost and I have purple hair because of it. If you have any prog fans, We are like nine days past that game. Like, yeah, I know. Once today's, I don't know. Feel free to reach out if you need support. But yeah, I'm doing dry January <laughs> and I feel on top of the world. Yeah, we're both like in a really productive mood. So this is a big productive work week in my life. I have a lot going on. Um, first things first, we're going on a nice walk. We're actually going to tribal to get our good morning drinks first. And um, this vlog will be up after. So if you guys haven't seen it already in the past vlogs, right? What? <laughs> I'm gonna be vlogging too, but I didn't have a camera charger. I left it at home, so Kenzie gave me one. Yeah. So I just wanted to let you guys know if you're like, what the heck? Okay, go on. Because you were putting a charger in there? And I also wanted to plug the bag, okay. Oh yeah, okay, in her bag, though. yeah. Okay. Um, anyways, I'm doing a drink this weekend at Tribal. So I need to make like a TikTok or something to promote it because it's benefiting the family place, which is an organization um, supporting victims of family violence. So, that's really sweet. That's what we're doing today. Like, start tearing up on camera. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wow. Okay, well, anyways, having we're a productive week. We got a parking spot because no one is here this early on a Sunday morning. Yeah, it's 10 39 a.m. <laughs> it's like not that early. We were driving out and I, there was all these cars. And like, my first thought genuinely was like, like did everyone get that drunk? Like, did they, they all have their to leave car? their cars? Like, by the bars? <laughs> yeah. No, it was a church. Yeah, it was a church. So, yeah. anyways. <laughs> We're off. Um, just want to let you guys know, if you're if you were looking for a bag that really perfectly fits your soft and juicy mango from Trader Joe's, there's Joe. always like something in there. I actually love that stuff. No, it's so good. Okay. We're here with our drinks. I mixed mine up already. Macy is excited because it's how is that vanilla bean? I saw little beans. Oh, I thought you meant like a vanilla bean frappuccino. Sorry, can but, like, both I, I actually can't. Like, I keep looking at you with the purple hair and the purple nails, no, it's, and just like feeling it's a so face. bad for you. It's a face. <laughs> no, I mean for the loss, not because of the look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, oh, that's great. Thank you. Yeah. It tastes like coffee bean. Coffee bean. That's why I like it. You're coffee. Of course she is. She's an LA girl. California. Yeah. Uh -huh. Boo! I'm kidding. I also, I, it was a joke. We were making fun of people who were like that. To be clear, yeah. It was a joke. It was a joke. I'm like, I'm a liberal. <laughs> no. And then uh, this beautiful oatmeal looks so good. Need to get checked. Okay, so I'm leaving the car wash. I went to Trader Joe's. I got flowers. So to the car wash, my car is so clean to the point where like I'm slipping on it. Like you know the floor when your car is so clean, like it's slippery almost. Anyways, oh my god. So I was getting like Venmo's and Cash App so I could like their username so I could tip them. And this guy who was working there, honestly cute, but he, guys, he was like really flirty. And at first I like didn't think it was with me and then I was like, wait, what's going on? And then at the end of it, he like winked at me in front of everyone and then I was walking off and I already had my car or my camera sitting here and he was like so forward and then they were all watching and I was like, I want to die right now. Like I actually, no, literally no. So anyways, I got my car washed. It's really nice having like a productive Sunday. Um, I just got a text to go meet up with my friends. I don't know if I will. Like I forgot that it's a three day weekend because we have a shoot for the Okine tomorrow. So it's not really a three day weekend for me. Um, maybe if they're out later, I'll go do something tonight. I don't know, we'll see. I didn't really do much this weekend. I had my sister's baby shower and my stepsister's baby shower. And Friday night, I like didn't do anything. I don't know, it's like a really low key weekend. This week though, we have the Okine shoot. Um, I'm going to Austin for like a day, one night, full day. Um, cause I'm recording and doing a bunch of stuff in the studio. 
Dom is coming, I think, at some point. Like, there's just like, a lot of like work stuff happening, so I really just need to get my life together. So I made some arrangements, nothing crazy. I'm gonna put this one here. Things are really messed up right now because I just got a lot going on in my house. This one is the, probably the worst one I've ever made. I need to me mess with it, but honestly, I'm too hungry, so I'll do that later. Guys, this is me right now on the phone with American Airlines booking so many flights. I have like, I have a lot of trips coming up and we just booked uh, there's girls trip and I'm having to change my flight to the Chicago show. Y'all are in Chicago and Nashville. I'm doing two live shows. The Chicago one is on the 27th, the Monday of March. Special guest Lauren Elizabeth. And then the Nashville one is on a Friday, March 3rd. Special guest Shannon Ford. All my friends are going. It's gonna be a really fun time. Um, and they will both definitely sell out. So get your tickets now. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So doing some skincare, decided not to go out with friends and to just like get my life together. I've been like just getting so much work done. Thank God, I feel so much better. Good morning guys, I'm, go oh my God, I put my sports bra on wrong guys. This is not good. I'm out of red light and I cannot believe. Oh my God. I always do this with the sports bra. Oh my God. Like I, I wore it wrong and like literally the founder DM'd me. <laughs> Embarrassing. Anyways. <sighs> now my hair is really messed up. Whatever. Okay, it's Monday morning. It's like 7 a.m. Um, I'm going to weight lift. Today is a big day. We've got the Okind pink scarf and beanie shoot. Um, we have hired Macy. We're hiring Macy today for TikToks. Um, and one of our models backed out. So Macy's also going to model, guys. Um, okay, I need some coffee. We also have some changes, okay? Things I've been thinking about. Just thinking, 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 okay. Hi, welcome to Starbucks, how may I help you today? Hi, can I just get a grande iced coffee? Uh, grande iced coffee? Yes. Have any cream or sugar yeah, cream, a splash of cream, no classic, and two pump sugar-free vanilla. Also, I forgot that I got my car washed yesterday, and like once I got outside, it was like, oh my god, getting in a clean car. So, hear me out. I'm gonna say this quickly. Most of y'all on my YouTube channel are here for like the hour long vlogs. Those are the videos you guys like, those are the videos you guys wanna see, okay? So, I'm thinking I just go down to one, one hour long vlog a week on YouTube, and then, um, and keep it out like one long form video a weekend. A week and then I can just focus on like TikTok and like reels and YouTube shorts. What do you guys think? Because you will be getting a one hour long vlog a week and I feel like that is what everyone wants anyways. But then I feel like I feel like you don't really find new creators on YouTube. You don't really find them on TikTok and reels and stuff at this or like TikTok really at this point. Um, because then it worries me because it's like a new person to my channel is so gonna go watch an hour long vlog and you would think who would watch an hour long vlog? Guess what? They're like always double the views like people and that's like pretty much always that's what is requested from y'all So then I'm like well if there's like not a single like searchable new video ever will there ever be a new person on the future You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think um, Because I know so many of y'all hate shorts, but it sucks. It's just the name of the game um, and then One hour long vlog a week or like that's the goal like one really long vlog Let me know. Oh, thank you here we are. Can I get a straw as well? Perfect. Have a good day. Okay, off to wait left. Hi guys. I left my workout, took the dogs out, gave them some meds, and... Did I give them meds? Yes. Sometimes I do things on such autopilot, I don't even think about it. Did I give her meds? I was on the phone with the dog neurologist because I've decided Coco is going to get, I'm giving you guys a quick coconut health update um, for all those concerned. 
Thank you so much for the questions. It's really nice. This is not working for me. So basically, um, like a month ago, Coco, I woke up in the middle of the night and she just like couldn't walk. And it freaked me out. We went to the ER, whatever. If you guys are watching the vlogs, it was just like, right? Then we got her into neural. I like was thinking the worst. And then she was like walking again. So then we got her into a neurologist and they said they think it's like early IVDD, which can be fixed. Um, even like if it, I think she's like stage one or two and even like stage five you can operate on it just drops like success rates obviously So she wasn't a candidate for surgery So they're like let's just do crate rest for a month and see if she gets better If not, we're not gonna do surgery like there's ways to do this without surgery now. There used to not be She's on all the meds all that whatever then she gets a dog flu and that was like right at her month mark And I still wasn't like she wasn't like a hundred percent, but she was a lot better and now she's just gotten so much worse the past week and I'm sure it has to do with the flu. Either way, I don't care. She's getting the MRI now. Um, I just like need to know that she is okay, you know? So we're doing that. Second thing, got a lot of like orders of business. I'm going to get a blowout. Oh, this is what I wanted to say. So I've been working on my hair health journey. I'm even thinking about going like my natural color, which is a dirty blonde. It's kind of like, Oh, it's like a little bit lighter than like the Sophia Richie Hailey Bieber color. It's similar to that, but it's more like my front pieces naturally highlight in the sun. But I kind of want to go back to my natural color, which I don't even know how to do at this point. Because obviously I've just dyed it lighter, which is a lot easier for me to upkeep than darker hair. My roots look a lot darker than my hair actually is. Because like once it grows out, it's not that dark. But anyways, I'm on my hair health journey. I've been doing Divi and I said I was going to get a neutrophil again last week and I forgot. And so I'm doing that this week, right? I've been doing Divi the past couple of days. I'm going to stick with it. I got a lot of new bottles and then I'm going to get back on neutrophil. And I've been trying to not wash my hair more like more than once a week right i'm on day eight right now and like honestly if i were to just put some dry shampoo in and like dry my hair my hair would still look fine and i'm gonna tell you my secret um it's a very out of touch secret and it's not this is the only reason i'm doing this so often is one because i've had a lot of shoots and a lot of like just random travel stuff so it's worked out that way it wasn't intentional but also it's because like i need to learn how it's one getting blobs i need to learn how they are drying my hair because it lasts it just stays dry and not greasy so much longer. So I have to figure that out because that's the only way I've been able to not wash my hair more than once a week. So I've basically just been getting blowouts like every six to eight days. Today is day eight. Um, so it's a very out of touch answer, but I am here to tell you guys the truth and I've got to figure it out. So once I figure it out, I will tell you guys like what I'm doing that they're not doing. Like I don't get it, you know? Like something is up. Another thing, I've been listening to a lot of like Noah Khan, I'm actually going to see Noah Khan in a few weeks in Dallas. Um, Zach Bryan, like all the like slow, like I don't even know how we, what you would call that, like alternative country. It's country, but it's like slower, more like indie. I don't even know what the actual genre of music would be, but it's close enough to country to where I love it. Um, and it just makes me like want, which I've been wanting for a long time. I want like a slower life, and I understand that um, I can't fully have that due to my job and like how much I have to travel for the show. I mean, I could if I wanted to slack off, but I don't want to. Um, but, and like, also I'm only 25, so I don't need to like move to the middle of nowhere, even though that kind of sounds appealing. And I also love like the city of Dallas, so I don't want to leave at all, right? But I'm trying to figure out how I can have like a slower, more at peace thing, whether that's like a bigger house, or with like more space to where I'm not as like rushed and I feel like I have more, like I'm not as like in, in it, you know what I mean? And just in general, like practicing slower, a slow life. With that being said, I have so much going on, I'm very busy. That's not really what it is. It's like the feeling of, like the feeling these songs give me is the feeling I wanna feel about life and my day to day, you know? Because then it's nice, I can leave, I can go to New York, I can go to LA, I can go to all these places, and Nashville, well, Nashville's like more slow, but I can go to these places that I wanna go to without it being like my 24 seven, so I really get like the best of both worlds. So, anyway, it's just thinking out loud, but I've really been feeling a pull, you know what I mean? I also need to get back to horseback riding, but there's like a whole other story with that situation that is like, Maybe for another day. I do. I maybe need to find a new ranch, but I do love the ranch that I go to, so I don't know. Oh. 
All right, guys, just got the best blowout ever from Erica. Oh my God, at Global Group. And she's doing $40 blowouts for the month of January, which is crazy. Like my blowouts at Dry Bar are pretty much double that. And they're so good. She's also faster. I just love that. So if you guys are in Dallas area and you want to blow out the month of February, her Instagram is at, I think the leftist stylist. I tag her on Instagram and stuff. We'll put it on the screen. Um, you guys can get a $40 blow up. So you came for me. I mean like what a great deal and also the most incredible blow out. So anyways, today we are shooting um, for the O kind. I have makeup coming over at like 11. So very, very soon. Wow, I just love a fresh blowout. Wait, it's honestly kind of cute. Oh, bring it. I feel like most cute. I actually like it a lot. Really? Okay, I just didn't know if it was like against the vibe. No, I think it's cute. It's like the freaking little jacket. Yeah, cute. I love that. Okay, well, I'll bring some options. This Our is model is being a diva. Hey, guys. Um, I just finished playing for my first <laughs> photo. Yeah, so... She's a model. I have a casting right after. Oh, so. my God. I will bring you an extra white shirt just in case you want to change, but you're fine. I like the outfit. I will. I also washed my hair two more times, but it's still purple. You're good. It's a nice little surprise. My mom was, like, getting into it. She's like, well, the beanie will, like, have it covered. <laughs> like, yeah, no, you'll be fine. Also, if we like, if we really need it photoshopped out, we can get it photoshopped out. You're fine. Wait, I might just wear this. But like, what if we wanted a little emo model? You know? No, exactly. Like, it's adding people out of every. I'm gonna wear this with boots. Yeah, cute. Because it's kind of really big. Cool. Okay, I'm leaving in two minutes. Okay, perfect. Bye. Wait. Just got Flower Child delivered for lunch. I'm gonna leave for the shoot in like 20 minutes. Macy's on her way, and we're gonna drive together. And I have my stuff. This is like what I'm wearing. So this is like one of my outfits and then I'm gonna change it to jeans, but that is really the look. I've got a few things from the garage to take to the shoot. I really need to grab like a hairbrush. So that is that. I love flower child these days. I get the steak bowl. Oh wait, dang it, this is not the right one. Okay, I get the risotto. This, like spaghetti squash risotto. They gave me mac and cheese for some reason, but the like red glazed sweet potatoes are so good. Like I have to learn how to make them because actually that is like on my to-do list for this week because it is so good. So this is my meal. It normally looks better than that, but whatever. Okay guys, I just had glam done for my big debut as a model. Okay, um, okay. anything you want on me, this is like my treat to celebrate <laughs> my first day as a model. Could I get a medium Diet Coke? Just like do a large. Too. Yeah. Hi, I don't know what she said. Um, can I just get two medium diet cokes, please? Can I get a cup of water too? Um, Kenzie just pointed out that she takes me to Pilates and on walks. And Hi. oh, she's perfect. Thank you. Um, and she, I take her to get soda, even though she's driving. I was gonna drive, but I looked at the location of this and I didn't know where it was. So I told you I was driving you. Yeah. No, no, but I was gonna offer because, but you, like, it, it would have made sense for me. Oh yeah. But I actually did my makeup, so I just want to point that out. Um, okay, thank you. We're gonna do a get ready with me soon, and you guys can see this look. It might not look that impressive, but I cover up a lot of blushes, so you're gonna be like, wow, look at that. Okay, we're gonna get our diet cokes. This is our fuel for the shoot. It's just gonna help me, like, kind of better be like. She's doing dry January. She's got to have something to do yeah. that edge off. Wait, do you want to see my modeling face? Oh, yeah, have you been working okay. on it? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do it right now. <laughs> no, um, we can't. After, okay. We can't do it now. I'm in Kenya. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, God. Okay, we secured the Diet Cokes and Waters, and we're off to, studio. Know, to the studio. We'll see you guys there. Guys, we just found out that Macy doesn't even follow the O-Kind. First, well, you didn't go to the live show. Now you don't follow well, the I follow you guys on TikTok, and... Okay. No, like you need to look more happy. Like, like it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be like, <laughs> like let me show you your mood board. You're gonna do some group shots with the girls, okay? I have to outshine everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's tough. tough. Okay, like some group shots like that, like fun, is smiling. My, is my outfit gonna be so bad? No, it's cute. Okay. This is really bad lighting. Okay, bye. We've made it to the shoot. Looking great. How are you feeling? Oh my god. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just 
waiting for my shot. I know, I know my time will come. I'm not worried, but I need to start practicing my model face because Kenzie's like really good at it. Like, I can't take myself seriously. I have to make this a bit. But look at our girl. We miss you. Oh my gosh, my self tan hands. Ah! Um, a real model showed up, and I'm just kind of confused on what I am now. Like, watch. I was doing really good. Ready? Like, mm -hmm. I was doing that. Yeah, you were. That was. It's okay. Whatever. No. So since Jess isn't here, we yeah. are improvising. But I think this is gonna get the most likes. Yeah. yeah. Like, no, honestly, this is gonna be the one that. Does this it. is gonna be what sells. So. No, honestly, it probably will. No, yeah. You know? I think that's really good. I think it's perfect. Really good. It really shows with the fit. No, yeah, yeah it does. You know, love it. Okay. Yeah, good. Okay. Me and my bestie. Um, guys, Macy and I are exhausted. We've had a, um, I mean, collectively, we've really done about like three hours of work. But, uh, I mean, not between the two of us, but like, we, it was like a two hour photo shoot we've been sitting here for an hour. Yeah. But like, why does it feel like? Oh my God, yeah. Why does that feel like a full day? It felt like so much longer. I don't know why. I, mean, I don't know why. It's weird because the shoot went by really fast, but then once I left, it's like I just have a headache. You know, Jess came over for a bit, we were making Maybe TikToks, we just were making TikToks. Yeah, it might be the mark. You know what? That's what it was. But it's gonna put us to bed, so like, no complaints. That's true, I'm gonna read my book. Um, speaking of book, if you guys are in the Dallas Book Club, our next book pick is The Housemaid. Macy's claiming that she's gonna read it this time. I will. And uh, we're meeting on February 15th, so I hope to see you guys there. Oh, guys, look at Coco right now. She's so sad. It's just so sad to watch her. Like, everyone who's oh. in my house today is just like, oh my god, it's so sad. She's oh. MRI tomorrow. Yeah, MRI at 8 a.m. Also, if y'all are in Dallas, I'm having a big Valentine's Day party on February 9th. So stay tuned because it's going to be fun. And I might have everyone like dress a little like cute, you know? Should I do that or would that be like making people not want to go? Just try to dress in pink or purple, pink or red. Yeah, that's like, try to dress cute. Try to dress cute. If not, who cares? We've got drinks and stuff. It's gonna be fun. But guys, I'm just so sad for her. She's getting an MRI in the morning, but she's she's like this because she has a flu. But she's getting an MRI because of IBDD. pajamas okay I wear your pajamas they are so expensive okay but they are so worth it because the more you wear them honestly the softer they get and like I literally just wear them 24 7 my other favorite pajamas are skims but for a different reason these are different like feels so the skims like ribbed cotton ones or whatever are just so cozy and honestly their fleece are so warm like when it's cold out it's just the best um, and these are just lighter like more lightweight softer it just depends on like what you want but the i also love my skin ones my skims ones my skin ones. okay okay i'm basing my outfit around this pink vest because i haven't worn it and i just love vest so i'm working out tonight actually i'm going to a 6 p.m class which i like never do but i like the 6 p.m pilates class on tuesdays better and that's what i take um i don't know what I am going on like a morning walk after I drop Coco off for her MRI. So I'm trying to figure out Maybe I do just wear flats, honestly. Okay I'll be back. Okay, my hokas like desperately Need to be washed. Like, they look horrible. Um, I also want 
better. Not like I love these with these like walking, running, little walking shoes. I really want like a cute pair of workout shoes that are better for weightlifting. I need like the Sub Zero or whatever. But I don't want them to be like Nike Blazers. I want them to be like athletic shoes. And I feel like I'm just not gonna find athletic shoes that look the way that I want them to, that are Sub Zero. Anyways. This is my outfit for my walk. I actually think it's gonna be a little bit colder out today. Let's see. I started reading The It Girl, um, and I know everyone's like really liked it. I don't know if it's just like, I'm not, I really need to read like a light book. I've been reading like thrillers and top of like heavy books for like a month. Um, I'm not like obsessed with it right now. It's okay. Um, I'm only at like 30, maybe like 25% for it. So I feel like it's gonna pick up, but we'll see so today i have um the walk i have the mri for coco um i've got to prep all my episodes for tomorrow because i'm going to ask not to aspen to austin i want to go to aspen um to austin i have a meeting which i'll talk about later it's actually a really cool thing my management does oh and i'm recording for okay sis and then i have lot of and we've got a lot of things going on so that is on today's that's what's on today's agenda Hey guys, everyone wish Coco luck at her MRI. We're going to MedVet, by the way, in Dallas. I just love her. She's looking a little rough these days, but it's gonna be okay. Hi guys, it is much, much later. Today has been a day, let me tell you. Coco didn't even get an MRI because they said that she is walking, to not fine, but like, I think we have different definitions of walking. Like, she's not walking like normal. Like, sure, she technically can walk, but like, not like normal, okay? And she's sick and so they didn't want to put her under an anesthesia. I get it, even though they told me on the phone that it wouldn't be an issue, so whatever. Um, I got a lot of money back and I'm thinking if she rests for two more weeks because she's gonna be sick for probably two more weeks That's how long the flu will last for dogs. She's got like two more weeks left probably um, Then maybe the IBDD will like fully heal but I got back I was gone all day I had like an emergency thing and I got back and she was like smiling and barking and wanted to get out of her crate which hasn't happened in days so I'm thinking the fluids and stuff helped her. Anyways, I have to leave. It's like 8 p.m. I am so tired. Today drained me, you know? Um, anyways, I'm like really, really tired and I wanna go to bed and read my book, but I need to pack because I'm going to Austin tomorrow. I'm recording some podcast episodes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I have like a meeting. I, I have like some stuff I need to get done also while I'm at your media, um, but yeah. I got this bag from CalPAC specifically for like my day trips to Austin because if you guys didn't know, Jeremy Media actually moved to Austin. We still have our Los Angeles um, office and studio, which I'm going to in a few weeks, but I'm gonna go to our Austin location more often this year. I don't even know though, cause there's not like a ton of people I want in Austin. And like, uh, so I'm recording with Jenna and Connor and Mike and Ariel from Jeremy Media. So like, I don't know, as time goes on, it's weird because like I grew up in Texas, obviously grew up in Dallas, but like I don't have that many friends and people that I know in Austin, but I have so many friends in like New York and LA and Nashville. You would think I would just have more in Austin. Anyways, if you guys have guests that you want in Austin, let me know. Um, I feel like not the vibe of the show isn't like changing, but like I know what you guys want. Like people don't really care about like entrepreneurship type episodes. You guys want like navigating your twenties, friends, hanging out, like bettering yourself almost like you know whatever but like in a really approachable chill not like self-helpy way like more like just you know what i mean i don't know guys this has been a day i also got this little makeup bag which i'm gonna use as like my skincare and like product stuff and then put my like laptop in here and then hopefully i can just carry this whole thing and then i'll bring my um puff bag from the opine tomorrow because it's easier to bring everything there I also got this, which I got all this thinking it was gonna come for Europe and it didn't even come until after I got back from Europe. Their shipping took a lot longer than I thought, which like makes sense, it was the holidays. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, it like didn't even take long. I just like forgot that like they're not business days, you know? Anyways, I got this like sleep set and it was, I think on sale in like one of the last ones, but it's a matching 
sleep set. Like, isn't that just the cutest thing ever? Um, really kind of extra and like definitely unnecessary, but I'm thinking I have a lot of travel coming up, like a ton. One thing this year that I'm trying to do is be home more. I say that as I have like six trips. I got, I woke up to a text for like another trip planned this morning, but I'm trying to like not leave that often. So for instance, like I'm going to LA and I'm going for like three or four days instead of like five. And then I'm going to New York for like legit 24 hours. Like I'm trying to be like in and out, like speedy in the middle of the week too. So I'm not missing weekends. Cause I think what really throws me off the most is missing my, I don't like missing my weekends here with my friends, but also I hate missing my workouts. Like, I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm gonna get to packing, figure out what I'm wearing tomorrow, get my life in order, get my life in check. I'll give you guys a little pup update. Here are my pups, here are my pups. Fitz is finally using his new dog bed thing. I cannot remember for the life of me where I got this. I'll try to think of it and link it, um, but maybe I just Googled like dog bed for couch or something, but they're worn out. The flu has like really taken that, like just exhausted them. They are drained, if you will. Good morning, guys. I am here with Coconut, who we can't tell is, we can't tell how injured and sick she is because I think she's faking it. No, she's actually not faking it, I was kidding. She actually is very sick, but I think she's, she's playing it up or I'm just being dramatic. Anyways, it's 6 a.m. I'm just eyes rolling my face. I'm gonna curl my hair, do my skincare, pack my bag and leave. Grabbing Starbucks on the way. I'm flying Jet Suite this morning. It's my first time flying Jet Suite. So I'm pretty excited. Like, I'm interested to see how this goes. It's not, obviously, a private plane, but it's like out of the private airport. It's a smaller plane, and you don't have to wait in like a long line for security. I only have to get there 20 minutes before my flight. And then they have like these nice waiting areas, and it seems nice. They fly to like only a few cities, so I could fly to Austin, I could fly to Cabo, I could fly to Burbank if I wanted. Um, so we'll see how I like it, but anyways, just having some quality time with my with my dog until I leave. Fitz doesn't care about us right now. He's sleeping and he's very uninterested in girl time. Guys, she's so much better today. Okay, finishing up packing this bag is actually really comfortable. Like it holds a lot, but it's not like crazy heavy on like your shoulder. I like it way better than the one I got from away for Europe. That one, I didn't even give you guys an update. It was just like such a pain to carry around. Like it was truly a pain. You can bring three bags or two bags on this flight and I'm kind of full. So I feel like I need to bring this, both purses. You guys don't care. Like literally, why do I say this a lot? I'm bringing two purses and I'm gonna put my Chanel in this one, I think, is what's gonna end up happening. And then put my laptop on the side of this case. Okay. Maybe that's not happening. Maybe I'm just carrying them separately. Whatever. This puff bag fits so much. Like I have my laptop in here, you know? So gotta do what you gotta do. And then I'll just use this, I guess, as my purse. Not that literally any of you care. Okay, we are off. I'm gonna stop at Starbucks. I'm driving myself. Um, I gotta go now. I have made a big mistake. I can never fly anything else ever again. It's so nice. Just put my actual luggage up. I'm at the Omni Cafe. I'm having a little bit of breakfast. I don't need to leave until like 11 something. So I'm gonna finish up episode prep for the day and all my other like work and stuff. All right guys, it is much later. 
I was in studio all day today. It's very hard to vlog when you're in studio and I also just forgot to just vlog in general. I went to Jenna's like office studio space and then we didn't record for her podcast because there was like some technical like difficulty stuff, but we still are, we just didn't today. So the next time I'm here or something. And then we went to lunch instead and then we went and recorded for my podcast and then Connor and Mike came on. And they were so funny. We recorded um, like a boy advice episode, but their perspectives are like polar opposites. So it was really funny. Um, not sure how much great advice you guys are going to be getting, but it's entertaining. And then I recorded with Ariel, who I work with at Dear Media, honestly, like all the time. Honestly, even more than my own producer, because she's over Red Wedding Housewives stuff. She's over like live shows, touring, stuff like that. So recorded with her all about like nine to five life routines and also like bts and podcasting how to like work for dear media and like get with your media and stuff so very exciting oh water boy well connor and mike obviously they brought me a water boy hat which i honestly will probably be wearing tomorrow and then also water boy which i love water boy i'm actually a customer myself okay um but i only have like a blue package i don't have any green i haven't tried this one lemon lime Exciting, the packaging is actually really nice. And then they also gave me a Jimmy's Club, which I thought was sold out. So maybe I'm just special, or probably not. They probably just like had some extra. And this one is Fruit Punch. It's also like really cute. So that's fun. I'm actually gonna go get drinks and figure out dinner and stuff. I have plans in like 20 minutes, so I need to go over there soon. But good day in Austin. I definitely like want to come here more often. And also like, it would just be easier. It'd be kind of nice maybe to like do like a couple days a month. I don't know. We'll see. It was nice. It was fun. Um, I was just getting some work done when I got back. I have a lot coming up in the next couple of weeks. A lot of events and launches and stuff. Um, and the live shows, obviously. Chicago and Nashville. Um, I think you can still get tickets. Probably. I, actually, I don't really know. I'm like brain dead today. When I was recording Ariel's episode at the end, I was like brain dead. Like I'm normally not like that. I'm normally fine and can push through, but there was something about today that I was just like, I don't know. Good morning, guys. Okay, so I'm sorry I didn't vlog much in Austin. I went and got drinks last night and then we to dinner and then we were, I was out like way later than I thought I would be. So I came home. I honestly like chugged water boy. I feel fine, thank God, but I didn't sleep well at all, which I feel like obviously I don't sleep well when I drink. So anyways, I'm heading back to Dallas this morning. I'm packing up my bags and getting back home. Today I have meetings with like my financial advisor and then just other meetings. Oh, I have a podcast recording too for someone else's show. I have a workout tonight. I think I'm doing like a family dinner. We want to go to Louis really bad. I've never been and we saw it on Dallas sites and I've always wondered. Oh my shoes, dang it. I've always wondered what it was. Anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this morning. I will probably talk to you guys when I get to Dallas or show you my outfit because there's really not much going on. so crazy like having my jet suite experience because I got back I had my car waiting for me and then I just drove home and I was home by the time I would normally be home for my workout and I just got some stuff done but my grandma called me and she is in the area and asked me to get lunch so I'm gonna go meet her for lunch I am so tired i think i slept like four hours last night maybe like i am exhausted i forgot i had an espresso martini at like 11. so i was very mad at myself but i'm gonna get coffee and like figure out my life at this point okay guys let's have a little chat first off i got home and coco was doing so much better she's like lively and she was smiling and moving around and walking around just getting a little walking time um so she's doing a lot better Thank God, I think it was the flu that made her like deteriorate. I was gonna work out. So I went to lunch with my grandma and I was getting some work done. Um, and then my recordings got canceled. I was so tired. I also forgot to drink coffee today. Um, but also this week has just been, there's been a lot of behind the scenes stuff going on that's just been like really hard. 
And sometimes I just like keep myself so busy. I'm giving an inspirational speech. But sometimes I just like keep myself so busy and then I like don't realize it. And my cousin's like, how are you doing? And I was like, actually not great. And I'm exhausted and I need a nap. So I took a nap and I was gonna like go up and go to my workout that Macy was supposed to meet me at and come to find out she canceled. And I was like, I'm not doing this alone and I canceled my workout. But sometimes you have to take care of yourself. And that's what I did. So instead of going to this workout, normally workouts like really recharge me. I just, my energy is so low. Like I honestly can drink a coffee right now and it's not gonna do anything. So I'm gonna make myself an iced coffee. I'm gonna put on my eye patches and I'm gonna read a little bit and then I'm gonna go to my family dinner, which is just the cousin dinner. But sometimes you have to put yourself first. And normally I would just make myself go to the workout only because I actually really like working out, but this is like a different spin class that I've been like needing to try. But I just didn't have like the energy in me today to like go be around all those people and like just couldn't do it. So I would say 90% of the time I do work out because it ends up making me feel better. Today, I just, I knew it wasn't also like look at how they ignore the McDonald's in the fridge because that's not the pretty part, but look at how organized my fridge is right now. I mean, hello. This scream, she has her life together. Oh my God. And I threw this in here today. Um, I got new Loops Hydrogel face masks. I love Loops masks. They are my favorite. Their eye patches are actually also my favorite, but I'm out of them right now. Anyways, I just love them. So we're gonna make an iced coffee and see how this goes. Also, we just went live with one of my favorite episodes with Janelle about like creating and manifesting your life, but it's like a very deep episode. So if you like those, go listen or you can just come watch on YouTube. Anyways, that's how I make my iced coffee from home. Love it, I'm an iced coffee girl. Not cool brew, but iced coffee. Good morning, guys. It is Friday. I am back on my routine. Dom gets in today. I'm going to work out, shocker. Um, oh my gosh. I, f I had a whole thing I was gonna say, and uh, as soon as the camera turned on, I forgot. Maybe the camera's shocked. Just kidding. Anyways, I'm on my way to weight lift. Oh, this is what I was gonna say. I'm going to a 9 a.m. weightlifting class because I go like really based on the teacher and my favorite teacher teaches like nine mainly and she does teach. And I was just thinking like, what is the perfect time to work out? Work out? So between the hours of six, like starting and six and 7.30. Cause then you wake up and you have so much of your day and whatever and like on the topic of like waking up early and being a morning person, which I am a morning person, I've just had troubles since the new year started like getting up really early when i only have like me myself and i to keep accountable to like if i have a workout early then i'll be there and i'll be up so i was like i have to maybe just suck it up and start taking the earlier classes because then i'll be like up more like even with today i was like i need to wake up at seven latest which is still like kind of late for me and i like got out of bed at like eight because i didn't have a workout until nine and that's just like not the way that i want to live i want my morning routine back okay so Macy's doing the 6.30s, I might be doing those with her. And honestly, like, if Macy's there, I feel like it'll be fun. You know what I mean? Like, I'll at least like, have a friend. So I'm gonna get Starbucks right now. I have like a work brunch event at 11. So as soon as I get back, I need to get ready and go to that. Um, and then Dom will be here after that. So very exciting. Tonight we're going to dinner with Marissa and then everyone else is out of town this weekend, but we're going to dinner with Marissa and I think we're gonna go try i really want to go to inwood tavern i've never been and i know i would love it so we'll see okay guys i just got ready for this brunch work thing my workout was good um john is on our way to dallas and i have a event an event for um an espresso martini brand in alto they said to wear winter whites or neutrals and like i was like i don't even know where i have my I need to go through my closet. I just have too much stuff right now. And it's like, you know when you're just like, I, I need a clean slate. So I know what I have and that's it. I was, just, I don't know what, I just like, couldn't put an outfit together. Every couple months, something happens where I look in my closet and suddenly I'm blind. Like I have no idea what's happening. I can't put an outfit together to save my life. I'm wearing the most basic boring outfit ever, but like it's fine. Top is Skims, coat is H&M, pants are Aritzia Effortless Pants. Actually, no. These are Princess Polly. Wait, let me figure that one out. Wow, pants are actually H&M. 
I changed into my Coach Pillow Tabby bag, my favorite heels from Revolve, they're Ray, and we are off. My alto is picking me up soon, so gotta put on some earrings. I did my makeup really quick. We're ready to go. What a quick turnaround. Vloggers, what's up? So we've just been busy being models today. Victoria's Secret Pink called and they needed models. They said, said, hey, can you girls model for us? And we're like, yeah, we'll check the schedule. And yeah, we said like, you know, normally we do yeah, huge we're international like, yeah. campaigns. Yeah. But yeah, sure, yeah. I guess. And I was like, and I'm like pretty almost booked for the rest of the year. Yeah, I booked until like 2025. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I think we will may be able to make it work. So. For you, but yeah. Oh, okay. No, not for you, for the brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for yeah, I was like, like, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, yeah. Um, so we were busy being models, and then Dobra styled me for a TikTok. But did I style Kenzie, or somehow this still ended up in a very Kenzie Elizabeth outfit? I like to give direction where direction is needed, you know? Mm. And see, that is where I think the idea of direction is subjective. Outfit. You know what I mean? Like it's very subjective because I'm like, what part did I do? You said you have black other pants. And then you you did see this top box, can I wear the bodysuit? And then you said you have that black leather jacket. There, yeah, and there were a few things that I grabbed before this specific look. Well yeah, I said I love that one. Come on over here. Oh, that's how stylists work. They pull some things and you pick from there. Also, I need to get my nails done really bad. And my hands, I can't even talk about this. Look. I'm not even gonna fix it. But they look fine. No, they're so, it's terrible. Okay, it's are you ready to unbox your birthday present? <gasps> yeah. Okay, let's go into the room. What do you think it is? Maybe it's, um, maybe I'll be able, um, I don't know. Is it a pass to sleep over in your bed? No. <laughs> just kidding, maybe you can have one. Okay, close your eyes. You just, you, you were caught peeking. I didn't even look. Okay, well first off, you have to, we have to clean and then we'll give you your cup. Dom has been cheating. How am I cheating? I haven't even changed into your outfit for tonight. Like, when are we gonna leave? Well, because my pants are downstairs and I was styling you. So we'll hold your hands out. Okay, now open your eyes and now you um, open it. With a G, bitch? Well, that's why I was like, when I realized it was in here, I was like, fuck. Okay, I was hoping you would like it because I thought if you liked it, you would have bought it. That's why. Wait, can you open it? There's two things in there. I just want to say, you know, sometimes, sometimes you got to thank white people. Oh my God. <laughs> See, it's cute. Wait, bitch, I'm literally going to wear this tonight and I'm literally going to walk around Henderson, Knox it Henderson. It looks more green. I'm going to yeah. walk around Knox Henderson and be like, oh, you thought I was feeling you? That a munch, you a munch. Sorry, no munch is allowed. You trying to talk to Kenzie, you're a munch. A munch, there's one more thing. Munch, back but it's just because you leave that in my house all the time. Oh my gosh! Okay? My gosh! I'm gonna put this in my hair. All the way from Amsterdam. From Amsterdam. Y'all, yeah, I'm literally gonna put this in my hair, but I'm gonna make sure the Ghani's showing. Can so you be honest? Did you watch the vlog already? No, I haven't seen okay, it. Good. It's really actually been hard on me. I told her not to watch the Amsterdam vlog because, because it's, it's a part of it's a part of my routine where I watch your vlog on Tuesdays when I am on my computer. See, do you see the G? It says Gaunty. It says Gaunty, honey. It says Gaunty, honey. Be <laughs> look. Look. See, you guys, thank you for. Thank you. Thank you for your support of Kenzie Elizabeth. And this, this is what happens. <laughs> this is a byproduct of y'all. This is just a byproduct of y'all being so good and kind <laughs> to, to her. Wow, well, Kenzie, no, but in all seriousness, bro, thank you so much. Well, like, like, this is I Gorgiant top. And it has a long strap too. I wouldn't have bought it if it didn't. Yeah. But I was feeling you? I know, but it has a long strap, but it's like- Dude, it literally tonight, I'm gonna be walking around like this. Here, let me show you guys how I'm gonna be walking. Beautiful. When I go to the bars tonight. Oh! Oh, sorry, what was that? Oh, you like my scrunchie? Thank you. You think my scrunchie and bag is super cute? 
What's your name? What what was your name? Oh, okay. I'm glad to see that you're still humble. Um, well, yeah, like I'm here with my girls. I'm here with my girls. Oh, you think we're fine? Okay, well then buy us drinks. Like, like, do you see she got her Fendi bag and I got my Gawny bag. And my Gawny scrunchie, like. That's literally your only options if you want to talk to me tonight. Ooh, wow. Oh, you're not gonna buy me a drink? <laughs> Bye, and then I'm gonna smack him. Oh, you're gonna smack him? Smack him with this, I'm gonna say. Oh. Thought I was feeling you. Do you see the scrunchie? It's, I should have like your hair up. It's branded. The scrunchie's branded, it says Gony. It says Gony, Gony girl. Ooh, that's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say I'm a Gony girl. A like, Gony girl. girl. Okay. My gosh, Kenzie! Well, hopefully we're at least soon. Kenzie! Woo! Sorry. <laughs> that right? wouldn't have been good. No, you no, no. Kenzie, thank you so much. Look, look, this is Goni. Kenzie, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So when I think about all the steps that I've taken, like with manifesting life. And also I just want to say like manifestation is not possible without faith. That's genuinely how I feel. Mm -hmm. Like I'm a firm believer in God and people go on these tangents. Like you can't believe in God and manifest when you look up manifestation right there in that, yeah. in that entire, I can't even think right there in dictionary? the, in the, yeah, in the dictionary, it literally talks about faith in God. Those two go hand in hand, you know, and I also think about how like dreams are individually planted in each one of us differently. And to attract that is the power of like manifestation. When you think about it,